Hello, people. I'm Vito, and welcome back to Path of Radiance with Robberlink. Hello. So, where we left off, we beat that uh, that scouting party of Dan, and uh, the leader was Maijin or whoever. Oh, I already forgot his name. Yeah, it was Maijin, I'm pretty sure. And we found this woman unconscious in the woods nearby. So, let's figure out who she is. So, how are you feeling? Oh, I... I'm fine. And you are? The name's Grail. I'm the commander of this mercenary company. My lord Grail, you are the one who came to my aid, are you not? I don't know how to thank you. Hold on. The one who found you and brought you here is my son, Ike. If you want to thank someone, thank him. N no, please, that's not... Lord Ike, was it? You have my gratitude. Oh. Pardon my bluntness, but I have some questions for me. Uh, <clears throat> I have some questions for me. <laughs> that makes sense. Pardon my bluntness, but I have some questions for you. Tell me, who are you? What were you doing in that place? Mm. The place where Ike found you was evidently the site of a fierce battle between Crimean and Dayan forces. Do you have some relation to the Crimean royal family? Mm. I realize maybe it, maybe it's actually Crimean because it's Crimea, but I think Crimean is the way I used to say it. Is it I think there's an actual country called Crimea. I think there is, but whatever. <laughs> I make no promises, but we may be able to help you. Will you share your Will you share your story with us? Also, I do you remember calling it Crimea when I was younger? So maybe. Who knows? You took me in and cared for me. I will place my trust in you. My name is Lincia Riddell Crimea. I am the daughter of King Raymond of Crimea. What? You say are, you say you are the princess of Crimea? Yes. That's an odd claim to make. I've never heard of King Crimea having any children. That is to be expected. My heritage, my very existence, has never been made public. Why is that? To avoid national turmoil. You see, I was born after my uncle, Lord Renning, was named as successor to the throne, so... They kept you a secret to avert a possible blood feud. Yes, I'm willing to accept that for the time being. Very well. Let's suppose that you truly are Princess Crimea. Crimea. Sorry. <laughs> Whatever. You must know what's become of the king and your uncle. I would like to hear that news. My father and my mother are dead. They fell at the hand of Ashnard, king of Dayan. My lord uncle and the royal knights are still battling the Dayan army, I believe. I see. I fled the castle to follow my lord uncle's orders and wait, <clears throat> to follow my lord uncle's orders and seek refuge in the kingdom of Galea. I think it's just Galia, but it's kind of strange to say lord uncle. Yeah. Either say lord and then their name or just say uncle, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> my lord uncle. <laughs> and Galia? Yes, we believe that King... Okay, King... give me a moment. <laughs> Canigus, I think. All right, yeah, I think that that looks right. Yes, we believe... <clears throat> we believe that King Canigus would grant me sanctuary, so that's where I was going. But we were discovered by Dayan troops, and I lost my escort of knights. My life, the life I have now, was purchased with the blood of those brave knights. Does King Dayan know of your existence? Yes. I was told the royals of each nation were informed of my identity in the event of dire circumstances. Well, such that as, backfired. <laughs> such as these dire circumstances? Whoops. If that's the case, they must be searching for, frantically for you. Does this mean that more of Dayan's people know about her than her own people? I don't know. <laughs> Master Grail. My lord Ike, 
You said that you were mercenaries, did you not? Please, would you help me to gain Galia or Galea? Wait, help me to gain Galea? Hmm. Well, it's Galia. I Galia. Think. What? I beg of you. I have no one. No one else to turn to. Also, I'm a princess. I have a lot of money. <laughs> Sorry. Princess Crimea? Truly? Father spoke to her as if... <clears throat> Father spoke to her as if he believed she were telling the truth. I see. What is it, Titania? Hmm. It's nothing. I was just remembering something from the past. From the past? Back when you were still a Crimean royal knight? What? How did you know about that? A long time ago, I heard... <clears throat> a long time ago, I overheard Shinon and some others talking about it. They keep such loose tongues. I should cut them. <laughs> I should do that right now. Give me a moment. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> uh, was it a secret? No, it wasn't, but... Much like I have more experience than you, I also have many more things to worry about. Like Princess Crimea? Well, yes. I, must, I myself was unaware of the princess's existence, but... Now that I think about it, she does bear a striking resemblance to both the king and queen. So she probably is the true princess. I wonder what father will do. Will he take on her request? We've got trouble outside. There are soldiers. A lot of them. What? You heard me. <laughs> In fact, I think you can hear their war drums right now. <laughs> is everyone here? Yes. Commander, what are the Dayan dogs saying? Turn over the Princess Crimea and leave the area immediately. Comply now or we will attack. Pretty straightforward. What are we going to do? That's what we're here to decide. One thing has been made clear by the arrival of our friends outside. So, I would say this confirms her identity as Princess Crimea, wouldn't you? Yes, but what do we do now? I'd like to hear the opinion of everyone here. Titania, I'd like to hear from you first. The blame for this war rests on Dayan. If we ally ourselves with them, the, com the company's reputation will surely suffer. Conversely, if we deliver Princess Crimea safely, our stock will rise in the eyes of our primary employers. Our road is clear. Soren, how about you? There's nothing to think about. We must deliver the princess to Dayan immediately. Soren, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> Even if Crimea is in the right? We are mercenaries. Our actions are dictated only by self-interest. Okay, Soren. <laughs> if we want to ensure our future, we need Dayan in our debt. They will win this war, after all, and nothing else serves us better. Shinon, Gatry. Soren's a pompous superior whelp, but he's got the right idea. Besides, the destination's Gallia, so it's a moot question. I don't care how much we get paid. There's no way under the sun I'm going to stinking beast country. Princess Alincia. She does possess a certain regal beauty. There's a lot to be said for that, you know. However, I do prefer country girls. A bit, a bit cuter, and not quite so standoffish. Oh, forget I said that. Gatry, we're not talking about that stuff right now. <laughs> we have important matters to discuss. Whatever you decide is good for me, Commander. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> forget everything else I said. I'll just stand in the corner. Oscar, Boyd, what about the two of you? I agree with Captain Titania. If we turn the princess over to the Dayan army, we're essentially giving them permission to kill her. I'm in favor of helping her. That's what heroes are supposed to do. He really is like Harry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Reese, what's your opinion? I believe that none of this hinges on whether she's a princess or not. I can't forgot Reese's voice. I apologize. 
Refusing to aid someone in need is not something we should ever do. That's what I think. That's right. Let's help her. Please. We have to help her. And what about you, Ike? I agree with Titania. I say we help her and take her to Gallia. I see. I think I know where you all stand. Also, I'd like to mention that apparently the Dayan troops want them to also leave their own fort. <laughs> it's like, okay, that that's a bit much, don't you think? That's a nice fort you got. That's a nice fort you got there. We want it. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> well then, here's my decision. We escort the princess to Gallia. Due to popular demand. <laughs> mm. I love democracy. Are you sure that's for the best, father? Like, you're the one who wanted it, didn't you? Huh. Yes, besides, I think the choice has been taken out of our hands. What? Open your ears and listen. Listen, all of you. Huh? What is it? Uh, I don't hear a thing. Idiot, that's the problem. Don't you think it's a bit odd? Don't you think that's a bit odd? Sorry. Complete silence in all four directions. Oh, so that's what you're talking about. Not only are the animals quiet, but the bugs are silent too. And that is unnatural beyond belief, which means... We're surrounded. The soldiers aren't waiting for an answer. They've they already decided to attack. It would appear they had no intention of keeping their side of the promise or the proposed bargain. Or maybe they just got impatient because we've been saying or talking all this time. <laughs> They were planning on lulling us into a false sense of security and destroying every one of us. Probably so. But the deal is, we're not so naive or inexperienced as to fall for their trap. Everyone, take your positions. We're going to settle this right now. All right. I'll go and hold the rear entrance. Ike, you're in command here. Don't let the enemy take the fort or the front. Mm, both. Either. <laughs> yeah. Both. Yeah. Both is good. Both. <laughs> both. Got it. Be careful, commander. Ha. I'll give it a shot. Also, it's kind of funny when you look at the per perspective and, like, ratio of the structures. It, it doesn't look like all of them should be able to fit in there. <laughs> Report again, sir. The mercenaries have taken up arms and formed up in the bailey. What's a bailey? I assume it's like a courtyard of a castle or something. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about, sir. Oh, so they've sniffed out our plan, have they? Which means they're not an opponent that would be easily fooled. We'll need something special. Shall we continue with the planned attack? No. Princess Crimea is somewhere within that fort. If we use flaming arrows to try to smoke them out, we might bring the princess to harm. We've been told to do our best to deliver alive and uninjured. It would be preferable if they were to come out of their own accord. If they do, slay all but the princess. Yes, sir. I apologize sincerely for that voice. <laughs> like, what was wrong with it? You're right. Gives us a, even all the more reason to kill him. Okay. Uh. Six turns defense. So I guess you just have to hold the line. But I want to kill them all. <laughs> all right, I. Okay, so that's the point that Grail's defending then. I assume so. All right, so. I think maybe I should just have Titania <laughs> run amok through here because I I don't want any of the enemies to survive the six turns. That's gonna be difficult. Well, I mean, if I just have Titania run through here. True. <laughs> Maybe it won't be so difficult. What little level are you guys? 13, 8, 6, 
All right, not too bad. Actually, I don't know if reinforcements will spawn or not. I'm. I think we should operate under the assumption that they will. I really want Ike to actually get battle experience, but, uh... Oh, you can't reposition him, really? Yeah, I guess not. Alright, so... I'll just save real quick. Also, I should check items. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, you don't need a javelin, so... Um... Hang on to this, please. <laughs> Jeez, there's so much stuff. Uh, Don't you? I think you get like a place to store them later, but yeah, until then. Which I think I want to give you the javelin. Ah, this takes a while. Sorry. They have to learn the logistics of the game. An Oscar you can trade with him for that. It doesn't help that there's l literally only one person that uses swords at the moment. <laughs> so there's all these swords. <laughs> Like, how many swords do they expect you to go through? I don't know. Okay, you don't need that many vulneraries, do you? Hmm. Oh, well, I'll just keep it that way for now. <laughs> I'm taking too much time. Yeah, if you say so. This should be good enough. <laughs> Alright, begin. Do 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 do. Like, I don't know if there's a character that I particularly don't care that much for that I want to just that I could keep on the spot or if I should just not keep someone on the spot. Uh, I think you just hold like those two positions, like those two entrances. Yeah, I guess. With like, because yeah, you have four pretty decent frontliners with Boyd, Oscar, Gatchin, and Ike. And then, of course, Titania just going wild. In their ranks. Yeah, see, if I use that, he'll attack twice, because it's uh, too heavy. Hopefully he'll be okay. You'd better be okay. like that's so misleading the fact that she's level one <laughs> yeah <laughs> but she's a class up so <laughs> and whack hmm whack it's like oh that was rather rude let me just kill you it's like clearly that first whack didn't teach you enough Mm. Yeah, that'll do. Let me guess. No. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> not wasting crit. Good. Like, you're not worth a crit. You've already been tainted by another ally of mine. <laughs> Run away. Hmm. I wish I could shove you, but I don't think that's going to work. Wait. No. <laughs> don't put don't put my hopes up like that. <laughs> um, Actually, that would be a good spot. Or should it, I put Sor in there? No, he can't. Unless no, I, I shove. I think you could put Gatry in there and then... Or in the other spot and have Oscar occupy the other. Like, right there. Yeah. 
Of course, that's what I do. Yeah, it's not sure what you. It's fine. I just hope no one comes through there. I don't think they'll be that mean this early in. If not, you'll know for next time. Okay, you can't reach anyone that you could be useful to heal. Not sure why those first two moved so little. <laughs> ah, I see you. <laughs> you are, uh, acquainted with the power of the heal bush as well. <laughs> uh, I see you're a man of the bush as well. Yeah, that's probably what I was going for. <laughs> Bushmen. Hmm. All right. They're kind of evenly matched. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised how tanky Boyd is. Hmm. I think I mentioned that before. <laughs> I should I should have Titania equip the hand axe so they can't attack her without getting attacked back no matter what. <laughs> One experience. Like, haha, no matter what you do, you have to fight an axe wielder, which is your disadvantage. They will try to whittle you down, though. I do remember that. If they can. Otherwise, if they have no choice, they'll just toss them into the meat grinder that is Titania. <laughs> Yay! Titania's first level up. <laughs> Not that she needs it. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I think Oscar might need the heal bush more than Gatry. Yeah, probably. Okay, so. Alright. I'm probably gonna have him get healed by Reese, anyways. Hmm. All right, Reese, do your thing. Do your one job. It's like, whoops, I missed. <laughs> Instructions unclear. Healed enemy. <laughs> hmm. I can hear the gears turning in your head. Yeah, they be turning. We'll attack him twice. That's nice. Still, though, he's still pretty weak. Yeah. Soren, you suck. There we go. He's finally level two. <laughs> ah, strength. Excellent. You know, for being as, uh, supposedly good of a tactician as you're supposed to be. You're not very strong or anything. <laughs> Alright, um... What'll happen if I do this? Hmm. I think you... Hmm. I think I might just have you back up in Vulnerary. Yeah, and then Ike can take his place. I think Gatry will or... take his place and Ike will go into the bush. Okay. Okay. What's this? I love that. Zero damage will be taken. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? And this is why I love Gatry. Stomp, stomp. Spike. Power poke. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. I kind of don't want him to waste this usage on him, but I could use it on him. Okay, I think I'll just... Yeah, that is good. Ouch. All right. Quit poking me. <laughs> it's white. <laughs> All right. Becoming tankier. Hmm. only got 25 uses dang it <laughs> but you'll still kill this guy with it <laughs> at full health oh you thought you were safe because you're still in the back nah -uh. axering go on an unrelated note this game gave me a misconception about how axes work <laughs> Like, how's that? Ooh, he can take this. <laughs> Mine. This is my spot now. Dang it, no crit. <laughs> ah, well. Oh, yes. You fool. <laughs> you could have actually attacked someone that couldn't attack back. Unless he didn't have enough movement range. There we go, there's the crit. Alright. Oh, a hammer. Huh. I forgot that that's a thing. I bet you that's probably the, the one that's good against armored knights. I, I, I think it is. I don't know about mounted knights. I don't think so. I think I'm not sure if it's in this game. It might only be in uh, the sequel, but I know there is a pull axe, which is an axe that's effective against knight, like horseback knights. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ouch! I just healed him. <laughs> well, giving Reese more work, I guess. Ha! Ah, you fool! She can fling her axe. It's like, haha! You can't reach me. Ow! Hey, that's cheating. Ah. Uh, I made a grave mistake. <laughs> ah, brave soldier. Just charging to his death. Well, you fought well. Actually, no, you didn't, but I'm going to just... Well, I was trying to make you feel better. <laughs> oh, thanks for the experience, though. And he's getting more tanky, too. Not that he actually needs it, but... Oh, this one actually has a sword. Huh. Oh. Gosh dang it. Blast! I'm not... I'm not supposed to. Oscar. Rolf. Forgive me. Dang it. Dang. I wasn't expecting that. Well, <laughs> I I think we'll end the episode here, and when we come back, we'll have re we'll, we'll have restarted. Yeah. Gosh dang it. Okay, we might get another one. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a twofer? <laughs> yep. Oh, blessed goddess! Please, look after these courageous warriors. Don't worry, we'll just load up a save, and you'll no longer be dead. What's a save? Uh, yeah, okay, screw this. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you next time, okay? So goodbye for now. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs>